Welcome back, TCC family, to the second installment of the short devotional series. Again, my name is Matt. In this devotional, we're going to be learning how to better pray the song, New Wine. What a difficult thing it is for us to give up control, to 
release our grasp on the things that we want so that our grip can be renewed on the gift God has for us in faith. Listening to this song, I am first reminded of Romans 12, 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Our lives, our actions, our words are the living sacrifice we present to God as worship. And only by the mercy of God are we not conformed to the nature of this world, but conformed to the nature of Christ, holy and acceptable. I'm reminded of Matthew 9, 16 and 17. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch tears away from the garment, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put in old wineskins. If it is, the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. If we are the old garment, how do we get the new patch? If we are the old wineskins, how do we get the new wine? If we are sinners, how do we present our lives as holy and acceptable? Friends, by resurrection power, we are made new in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Our faith in Christ and Christ's faith on the cross makes us new. A new vessel ready to be filled with new wine. Paul's plea in Romans 12 is for us to fill those vessels, allowing ourselves to be conformed to the nature of Christ. If we continue reading in Romans 12, starting at verse 9, we see this being played out in action. Paul continues, Let love be genuine, armor, arbor what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor, do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be arrogant, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, So far as it depends on you, live peacefully with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, live this way. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, You will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Paul lays it out. To be conformed in Christ looks like humility. It looks like love. It looks like genuineness. It looks like mercy. It does not look like the ways of the world. As we're singing this song, we are asking God to help us release our grasp on those old flames, on the things of this world. The chorus says, make me a vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. God, I came here with nothing but all you have given me. Jesus, make new wine out of me. We are praying that God helps us let go of pride, to let go of hate, to let go of us, the, the assumptions we've made about ourselves, and to pick up the new fire of Christ, to have new wine 
in new vessels devoted to worship to be holy and acceptable. To close, we have three questions. Again, find a quiet space to be alone uh, and answer these by yourself first. First question is, how has God made you new? Testify to the work of Christ in your life. Testify to how you were old and have been made a new creation. Second, what are you currently grasping that needs to be released? What are you currently holding on to that you need to let go of so that your grip can be renewed on faith? And last, third, in what way, in what one way are you taking a new grasp on faith today, right now, tangibly in action? What way are you taking a new hold of faith in your life? After you answer these alone, gather your family, your roommates, call a friend, someone that you love. Share these questions together and share how you have been made new and how faith is shaping you to be more like Jesus Christ.